Hello everybody, Omni here. We got another trailer that I wanted to check out. This is the final trailer for the remake of Pet Cemetery. I have already on board to see this movie. This is kind of a packed month as far as big movies that I want to check out and see, especially this week, because on top of Pet Cemetery releasing this week, the bigger one, at least for me, is Shazam comes out this week as well. So Thursday night is going to be Shazam night for me. Friday night, I will follow that up with Pet Cemetery, and hopefully by the end of the week, I should have a review up for both films, and we will talk about them then. Uh, I feel like we've already seen a little too much of the story. I mean, it's a remake. Uh, if you haven't read the book, if you haven't seen the original, of course, it it might not hint or lead to much. There still might be plenty uh, food for thought to have for yourself when ingesting these trailers because if you don't know the full background or the story, you know, and it's not all going to click with certain things, but I don't know for anybody that's been around or seen the original films or read the book. Uh, definitely. I kind of feel like there's like a lot kind of given away in the trailer. So I'm a little, this is a little bit shorter, uh, only a minute and 49 seconds, unless it does like, it may even be shorter if it does one of those like pre trailer clip trailer things that's becoming a bit of a trend that I find a little annoying, but, um, yeah, I'm excited regardless. I will be seeing it regardless. So let's go ahead and check out the final trailer for the remake of Stephen King's Up at a Cemetery. Uh, this is after the fact. I remember my birthday party. Oh, that voice. Scratchiness. Was out on the road. And everything went black. It's okay now. Are you back? Back from where? Oh. Back from where? Back from where? There's a place rage brings things back. Oh, you don't. Are you happy, mommy? Everything you know about the story I still won't prepare you. Place. Yeah, it's. What'd you do? If you cheat death. Different from what I remember for sure. I needed more time with her. Sometimes dead is better. Dude. If you've done something, Lewis, it's not too late to undo it. It looks so intense. I, I I am really excited for this movie. I really loved this, the original film growing up. And, you know, this one and the second one both, I really enjoyed a lot. Um, I, the interaction between him and his daughter after the fact, after she's been raised, and the questions and the way she asks them is so eerie and creepy. But like the other people that are coming back, like that's so intriguing. Like I, I haven't read the book. I know a little bit about the differences between the film and the book, though. I don't know if to what extent like people start coming back because you saw the one dude in the morgue uh, that was way beyond injured to just kind of come to life and uh, assault the uh, the doctor guy, the dad, or uh, whoever. I think I think it was the dad um, in the in the trailer there. I, <laughs> they're definitely going a different road. And then you have this in the previous trailer, you get like the images of like the Wendigo and kind of like the supernatural origins or the Native American origins to the uh, the, the, the cemetery itself and the grounds that gives it that pull, that power to do what it does. Ooh, I can't wait. 
I I can't wait to watch this. Uh, the it, it looks like have a much more intense and a much harsher tone than the original, where it was borderline a family film up until things went south, like very south. But it's still such a good movie. If you haven't seen the original, I would still recommend checking it out. Um, maybe maybe after this one because you know if this is different of course it might be better to not have a lot of preconceptions going into it or comparisons that you're wanting to draw so maybe going in blank into this one might help it a little bit but still the the classic is a classic i i, I will always recommend the original pet cemetery if i was more of a literary man I would I would read it. I'm still trying to get my way through the actual it book, which is a massive tome. <laughs> and it too. Can't wait to watch that later. I think that's coming out by the end of the year. Oh man. Some good stuff. There's been some hit or misses. Like Dark Tower did not land very well, but the some of the other Stephen King remakes or reimaginings have been doing pretty well. Um, I've heard good things about Castle Rock and I've been thinking about renewing my Hulu subscription just to check out that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've talked about this a lot already in previous trailer um, reactions that I have up on the channel, which I can, I'll link at the end to at least the most recent one on the end screen for this video. So if you want to hear more about what I've talked about with this film, cause I might even just kind of be rambling the same thing. I can't remember. I have really bad short-term memory, so there's that. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for right now. Uh, this movie, it, I think it's a little weird that there's a trailer three days before this movie comes out. Like, I, I understand what, like, TV spots and stuff like that, but, like, a, a an official trailer three days away from the release of the movie seems a little weird. I don't know if they're doing it to try to like get more notice because it's on this big blockbuster weekend having to contend with Shazam, but it's so it's a weird choice. If you like this or if you're curious about what I've said before about the previous trailers, feel free to go back and check those out. I've also got a bunch of other reactions and reviews for other films, movies, TV shows, stuff like that on the channel. So feel free to go rummage through all of that. But that's it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one later.